Hello everyone, this is Sears Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary DJ Let's Play. We continue for episode 5 from turn 38 in the winter season of 201. So last time we defended the area around Loyang, we did lose Hulao Gate Pass. And we're going to retake it eventually. Let's get our army in here. Uh, it's pretty battered. And we're going to fill it up with units. We should have enough money to do so. The problem is we don't have any good units to fill it up with. Kill some rebels, get some intimidation. We're at 97 points. There is going to be a siege in Hedong. We're probably just going to get more authority points here. Our next rebellion, probably still in Jingzhou. Yep, about three turns at max tax. If we actually lower this, we don't have any rebellion. Part of that is because we do have a faction council event with the civic propaganda that goes away next turn. So we'll see if we can roll anything similar to that. Uh, we might recruit him. He's young, decent trait, has wisdom. Could be our fourth wisdom character as we might not need our agriculture development much longer. There's still a couple green buildings that we want to upgrade here and here, so we'll hold off on that and we will add this guy to our roster. He's going to be decently happy, recently recruited, shouldn't have a problem. Uh, we'll give him a post to do assignments soon. And basically we'll use those to stay afloat with our satisfaction. We're going to go over here. Now everyone is healed. I don't know the enemy situation, but I'm going to risk it in March. Machao's going to be tasked with taking Taiyuan, and we're going to be tasked with taking Hedong. But before we fight it, we're going to set up the siege. We're going to use our points with probably Liu Yan. Because we don't have... A coalition deal with them like we do with Cao Cao. So we're going to use a little bit of money. See how much point we can get. 24.9. Wow. Okay. So even if we keep. Let's say 15 points with him. We can ask for 9.9 .9 here I think. That way we have like the maximum amount of. 15 point change. Trending towards plus 50, we get 777 for the next 10 turns. Okay. Sounds pretty good. And now we can fight this to boost us over 70 again. They have a military infrastructure? No. How do they have a few extra units here? Oh, sub buildings perhaps from the counties? I'm not sure. This looks really out of place. Actually, I'm curious. What buildings do they... Oh, it could be the bandit tree building, right? That's what's giving them the extra, I think. We're going to fight this. We're going to try to be clean because Xu Huang is marching down. So we expect to fight after this. He has a very small force. But we still don't want to take any of those delegate damage to the general health. Shouldn't be too difficult. We probably want to go for a corner like this one here. The snow does affect the burning, similar to rain. A little bit better, but still has an effect. So we'll see how that goes. If it's affecting it too much, we might switch to regular shots. But let's see how it goes here. We don't have any melee cav to tank the archer damage, plus there's a lot of ammo, so I'm not sure how we take care of those. Yeah, the fire spread is very low here. 
But if we can get it over 50%, it's still probably better than going for the damage. We just gotta pay closer attention to that. We do have turtle formation, so maybe after we get this down, we use the ammo on the walls instead. Okay, we got 50, a oh, 70, they're perfect. Regular shots, break the walls. We'll just do two turtle here, two turtle here, and just get the aggro from those. And we'll open ourselves a slightly bigger area. And we'll come fight the duel. Get rid of their only general. Could have also sniped him. Alright, we're gonna kill some other units here by breaking the wall. This is wide enough for our army to get through. They actually don't have a lot of spear units. We might get away with charging our cavalry directly at them. Because look at the units defending here. It's all sword units. This is the only spear unit we see. Go some more here, maybe get this one. What are they doing? All right, we didn't break that last piece of the wall, but this unit should get killed here pretty easily. All right, let's see what we can do with our crossbow. Technically, we probably want to shoot the remaining archers. To clear the way for our cavalry to charge. We have Flame of the Phoenix here. We do have a range advantage being crossbow units. But not much, especially with them on the wall as well. Mm, this might end up being a big waste of ammo unless we route them pretty easily. Don't chase too far. There's only five of them. Okay, we can ignore that. That's the group that dropped from the wall. Their morale is super high because they dropped from the wall, but in reality, there's only five guys left. And we can we can definitely ignore that. Alright, they're on the wall, which is great. We'll set up the wedge. I, I don't need them to shoot. We can clear some easy kills so they don't charge us. Okay, stop. Okay. 
准备开战。就绪，使计杀，做好准备，顽强不屈，就这样，准备好了，速速前进，在，时机已至，停住，给我射 ，He's out. We can play charge at them. Kill that last person. Will they come down? Or we can just charge them. They're targeting a few guys who's still on the wall. Why did they wrap out? We're gonna just wait for army loss. Once we kill this group, I don't think they can do much. One last guy. Yep, looks like we got this. Alright, relatively clean. I have a few casualties here. Alright, let's see. We don't need this. This is what's giving them that little three unit garrison. I could save this for a reform, but we're doing school next turn, so uh, we can't do it here. Let's rush this demolish and get this school. They can do state workshop. Uh, we don't need this. We we could keep it. It does unlock another reform next turn, so maybe uh, next season we can maybe save it for that. But we might be just going down the blue route before then. All right, not much of an army there. We will be fine. Looking pretty good. We could give these guys a full army. So since she's a champion, she'll feel some of these as front lines. We're not really going to have anything for them. We can do Zhai Ma Jian. Very different use. I think the Dance World Guard is going to outperform with the higher evasion. 
These are more offensive splash tag against infantry. We can do a mix. And then here we're gonna do sea down cav, a couple of melee cav. Yeah, not much range in this army. The purpose is probably just to retake Hula Gate Pass, and then we'll see what we want to do with them. We have the money to afford them without any issues. Now, Hansui, if we look at the map here, does not like us, and he has a very bad political uh, uh, personality, basically, for diplomacy. And I don't really trust him. He has a gorilla background or a uh, personality, and cunning is part of this. So what we could do is we could actually liberate him. I don't want money. All right, I can liberate him for free, maybe? And just hope that he doesn't attack us and just like us more going forward. I'm not going to become in-laws with him. Yeah, fight the yellow turbans together, maybe. While well, he's asking the world for that. We lose out on the vassal payment, which isn't much. He's not making much, so how can he give us much? I just don't want him to continue to hate us. He can just be a trade partner until he doesn't want to be a trade partner, and then we can just fight him, rather than the moment he doesn't want to be a vassal anymore, and then we're just automatically at war. At least this way I can probably get a message like he's canceling the trade deal, and then we'll know something's up before we have to respond to it. We should have enough food to start going tall, so we're going to do that because we need more prestige points. And that should do it for us. I don't think there's much else to do. We'll have faction council and all that next turn. We hired another man. Oh, we have a sword, which can go to our heir. A little bit more authority. Oh, we also have the possibility of this set, which gives us 10 points of satisfaction faction wide. This is huge. That is amazing. And our administrator already have good weapons, our strategists do not. He's on the field a lot, so I'm gonna give him a sword for damage. And she already has a sword for damage. We'll keep the other sword then. Alright, things look pretty good. Uh... Sure, we'll let Yuan Shu say no. Tao Tao likes it, I like it. You know, he just doesn't want to take the invite. Right, he's marching this way. He'll bump into our main army, which is good. Let's pull it somewhere over there. All right, let's do our reforms in Faction Council first. We got the school. Now we can tear down the school. State Workshop. Uh, we could probably hold off on that in case we get an industry boost. I don't care about that. Zhengjiang personality route, let's do that. It's a negative trait getting rerolled. Skill tree. Yes, I guess we can get reach first. Population growth. Alright, we can come down here and get this. Alright, so we want to do as many of these green upgrades as we can, but I think that's about it. Let's cancel him now. And then we go down by 8 food. He's still very important, but we're going to do our... We forgot to fire him again. Very temporary recruit so that we got enough movement. What did we get? We got enigmatic 
Eh, doesn't really fit her, but that's fine. Do we need to keep the title? I guess we do. Ah, oh, we have someone who's 100 points. That is rare. Right, he has no supplies, or... Kulage has no supplies, but he is not replenishing. And in about two turns, if he doesn't heal up, we're going to go attack him. This army is suspiciously missing. Okay, Zhang Yan's army. Now, Zhang Yan might actually want to peace out with us. He's a vassal, right? Lu Bu has one piece of land left. He might get wiped by Cao Cao. I should try to get some money from him before he goes. He's very poor, but what about cash? Maybe he's been hoarding that. Oh my god. I mean, when you only has a fishing port, I feel for you, but... Cao Cao doesn't like this. I guess for 140, it's not worth it. Renshaw's value is 11 points. Now, if he's willing to just hand back... What? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Well, we also want Taiyuan, so that's not really possible. No one cares about your second son. Yeah, this helps. He's not going to be able to pay much. And I think we can actually get him to trend higher if we want to. Negative three. That's fine. He only has 53 left. Cash? He doesn't have much of this either. It's giving us half. We're no longer usurper of the throne. And we only had to tear up that deal because our vassal was getting attacked. Which is a really silly way of losing trustworthiness, but that is the way the game is programmed and we have to kind of live with that. Get this. Alright, we are going to build that after all. The mysterious army disappearing. We could get ambushed, but so what? It's a very small army. They're not reinforcing. Doesn't look like delegate value is bad. We're just going to take it. I don't know where he is running to. That's not friendly. Now the problem here is Yuan Shao is bringing all these vassals in the war. These three, four actually, in particular. Wang Long's not in it. Uh, and they, Mi Dan's not in there because they joined afterwards. Oh, we're actually at war with this entire coalition. Hmm. We should be fine once this army is ready to fight. In the meantime... We're 97, we're fine. I think that's pretty much it. Waiting on... This is newly acquired, which is why it's so bad. We lost the plus 10, like I said. That was what's carrying us, and we lost a lot of income-boosting ones. So we're probably going to have to drop it by at least one level.
and just farm this. All right, we're good. Let's see if we get somehow triple team here. It's possible. Uh, I'll say yes, but also rejected. Ooh, that hurts. Still 49. It's not the end of the world then. Hold on. We're gonna do... I'm gonna do this. Negative three food. Oh, we went down on tax as well. And we canceled the assignment. This might be problematic. We can use cash to solve some of this problem. Another farmer. Looks like Hua Tuo finally left. Actually, he might be sent out as a spy. That is another bandit. We're recruiting her. Wait, didn't look at her traits. Uh, water clock's not bad, but not good enough to recruit. She's rank four. Satisfaction is going to be maybe a problem. He's ranked up. He is administrator. We should come get this. All right, new girl is fine. 60 points. What we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this and we're going to rush it. Puts us at minus one food. Rinse and repeat. We're at zero. And we don't upgrade that. And we get this. I do want the second building slot and we can pop in a farm. Mm. Need to get that converted ASAP. They're raiding, huh? We could group here. Hmm. Once again, capture rate will be higher with Dashu, but I think it's fine. I, I don't really want Jiangong, even if we get him. We did get him regardless, but like I said, we don't actually want him. We can take the pass and then charge down this way towards T path. And we can just take the delegate here as well. Alright, we're at 99 now. So before we take on the path fight. We should spend. Can we reach? Yes, we can. Okay, we're gonna continue siege. They're gonna go north. They'll probably go all the way to Yemen and then come down this way. We'll go all the way down, then I don't know if we can cross into Gongsun's on territory or not. It's gonna be a little bit awkward. He came down here to attack Sal Sal. Who is our ally? So if I join the war against him, I think Tsao at least will like that. Yeah, we're just overloaded on satisfaction. And this is also overflow of points. Hmm. 
we could technically keep Xu Huang alive with one pass. He wouldn't want to get vassalized. Tazan's capital is getting sieged. Mm, they seem to like us. I guess we have to butter up Tulsa a little bit. Uh, we asked for money. How much do we get here? 16.8. Let's aim for 5 points. So let's go to 11.8 here. Get a small boost with Tulsa. And we still get paid out handsomely. Alright, got a level up here. Two turns, three turns, about two turns. It, it's not looking great elsewhere. We have a food issue. If we don't solve the food issue, this will have some food. We're going to have bigger issues. Like, Jing Zhao is about to upgrade, and I think I got to cancel this. We'll do those upgrades fine. We'll find food for that, like the fishing. And then we'll do a land development and shrove on eventually. Hi, it's also rank five, so that's six food, I think. It's a city build. Yeah, it's minus six. So we need to take Shandang first. There's a lot of food right here that we can get. Let's first take this. Um, I'm going to believe the low value. It doesn't look like we're going to be facing off against a lot of threatening armies. Save ourselves some time here. Now the Imperial Favor loss need to be curbed. Oh, actually we're getting... So stay in 90s, which is what we want. The moment we drop below, we use our plus 10, basically. Another gate pass, another exemption. Alright, I don't think Golgun has enough men to stop me. Actually, kind of want to peace out with him. I don't want to take that gate pass. I don't want to waste time on that. I want to come down here, crush this, and then go crush that. We'll be ready to attack next turn. They're starting to heal, but it looks like very slow. We're starting to see more factions, Yuan Shu's faction, for example, but I don't think we're going to get much done with only one spy slot, so we're just going to pass on that. 23.8 Yeah, we're going to have to take these by force. Alright, not much else to do. Get our food next turn. Right, they peaked over here. I'm gonna drop the poison volley general that we just picked up in Hladun to help defend it. This army is already kind of attritioning. So I'm not gonna be too scared of it. And it's also likely by the time they get there, 
and set up the siege because there is walls. They can't actually attack it right away. That we might be piecing out with them long before then. This looks like a free take. They're not even getting dragged in. We ranked up. Perfect. So we're going to hit Duke or Grandmaster. Satisfaction is going to increase and we should get some points. Six points. We need administrators. We need a lot of administrators. Preferably all six points actually. We'll get food as well. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, we'll pass on the Duke graphic. Those are the same things. We also get a Prime Minister. Liu Chuang has been long waiting to get that position. He should be the best, just in terms of how much authority we can get for satisfaction. Background bonus, not really relevant for us. We get a little extra damage for crossbow, but base damage, even though most crossbow damage are armor piercing. New starting rank for range unit, that's helpful. That part is limited. It's more about how much authority he brings. Is that the best thing we can get? Maybe not. Maybe Zheng Jiang's better. Immediate faction support. 15% damage increase when we're on offense and we get more from our vassal. And we actually have a couple vassals left. So that's, that's another thing we can consider. Only two points of satisfaction from her. Not much in terms of that. We can drop the patrol commander. Another option would be Guo Si with the minus 10% construction. That's not terrible either, but also low authority. I think those are only ones that we should really consider from. Ma Chao doesn't really have great background bonus. Shot Cavalry, I mean, it kind of synergizes with us for our Shot Cavalry, but we can do this once we get the Imperial Court. I think for now, Given that we have four people on assignment dealing with satisfaction, I think Neutron just picks up the job and we'll be okay with it. And then we have a free slot here for someone like Zheng Jiang to slot in. And perhaps we can drop things like Patrol Commander and still be very, very happy. Then we can give him some faction-wide items. So we currently have two, and they're both being used. So I think he's actually in a good place. Now we have one of these. Lady Wu's using that. We can get ourselves some more trade surplus. Yeah, I think that's probably what we want here. Go with authority. All right, so he's good. We also need to get these skills going forward. We had to get show of force, so there's no option there. We didn't get new spies. It's not really what this campaign is going to be about. Okay, so we got ourselves an army here. I don't know if there's anything behind. I, I doubt it. I feel like we're going to run out of movement regardless. And that's actually kind of bad. They can offensively ambush us as Zhang Yan. We're not technically built for that type of fight. Let me pull back a little. So at least the garrison doesn't join them when they do offensively ambush us. Uh, why can't they just leave us some food buildings? We do have 10 food from... Maxing out assignments, uh, not administrators, and we also should assign those administrators. Uh, who do we want? Um, we have a couple burn officers that could be shifted down to becoming administrators. They will be kind of perfect for that. Let's shift her down. Put her in Hedong. 
with the industry and commerce. We also have a new spot opened up. He can work in like in Shuofang where, or Anding where we're getting some food, getting some industry. Yeah, that could work. Move him down as well. Uh, Anding, Anding will be better. So we have these spots open. People like Macho can pick it up. We have another. I mean, all our strategists here are going to be assignment characters. I don't think anything changed. I'm not using any of the bandit characters for administrator job, even if they are sentinel. They just don't have the right skills. Same thing for Zheng Jiang. Dashu is army based. I don't think he needs to be administrator. Peng De can be one. Right, he already got the peasant. Like, we can put him in Shuofang as well. Or, 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 like, we could be. Yeah, let's do that. He's currently not doing anything. Put him in Shuofang. And Wudu needs one, but Wudu needs someone with good industry boost. We can also look to hire more people now with these three new slots. Zhao who has the farmer trait and also the water clock that we kind of want. Uh, not great in terms of those traits. Plus three public water. Yeah. We can hire him. Just the random young sentinel to be administrator. I actually don't have items for you, but he has the right traits too, so this is good. Throw him in here. Into Wudu. And then we want to assign someone to Sihe as well, and then Taiyuan. We look to outside recruits. Can't trust anyone who's not willing to spy for us. So that really limits our options. I guess we could use them not for their bonus income but just for the cheap construction and they get a post as well so our two bandit girls gonna throw her in Sihe Oh, we also have Shangda. Uh, Sihe first. Then we throw her in Shangda. But what about, yeah, we need to save one for Taiyuan, which clearly needs one. All right, not too bad. We can also, hold on, we can do one more shift here. We don't need a Grand Commandant when we're not recruiting units, and we could use a little bit of Peasantry boost when it's not spring. Let's get the farm buildings in first. I feel like everyone's going to be very happy. Our lowest value is now 82, 78. Right, so because of that, I feel like we can fire someone like her, who's just, just not good across the board. I think she is, yeah, she's on, we got one extra assignment as well from having Wojin, but she can go. 
I can even execute for intimidation if I want to, because we now can tank the satisfaction. A bit 20 point swing. A little bit extreme. A little bit extreme. Let's just release. Because if I release her, I get this slot back immediately. Where is our guys? Um, our farmer... We don't have any free characters. Everyone's doing something. Either in court, administrator... Hmm, maybe Jaldul needs to get recruited. Because he is a farmer and we do get an item. And we can use him as an assignment character. I need him in Shangda. There's going to be a lot of green buildings. And a lot of food. So he's going to boost that as well. All right, rebellion here, that's perfect. We're ready to take care of that. We'll sit inside for this turn to get some supply back. We'll do what's going to get rebellion about five turns. Two turns, two turns. We're going to play around with the tax rate after a couple turns here. Let's get things going a little bit easier on us, but I think we're good. Sun Zan took it. Oh my god. Uh, I see an armor. He had a weapon the first time he was available to recruit. Now he has an armor as well. That might be a good reason to recruit him. And then Pulley firing him. I don't think we're keeping him. And then we're looking at maybe one of these Sentinels. As potential administrators for us. It's not great. We can't trust the rest. Yep. He could work. We get some food. We get some peasantry income. Some public water. I mean, Zhu Gui is a former faction leader down in Wuling, I think. I can reach that. Okay, then we're gonna just take this and then try to potentially peace out with. Yuan Shao's faction. Uh, we overflowed a little bit, I think. Oh, he dropped his armor. Ooh, Jashu gets injured again! I think this is the second time he's been hurt. Drag out the garrison? She comes in as reinforcements. Uh, we're gonna fight this. And then what we can do is maybe peace out with Yuan Shao and ask him for the iron mine as a free or well, peace negotiating deal. And then we get the entirety of Taiyuan. And then we'll Basically, peace out for a little bit, digest the territory we just took, and then maybe turn on Gongsun Zan, who has taken some land that we want. 
Now that reinforcement army is going to be what we're going to target. I believe when it's reinforced like this, it comes starting at this point and goes to the right. So that should give us some options like this. We, we might want some distance. Yeah, I guess we are still slightly worried about they have an archer unit coming in and shooting us from across the map. We'll protect them like this. Don't want them to go anywhere here either. A couple crossbow here. Cavalry right here. Oh, we're not going to join that mess. Uh, we're going to turn off whatever we can do, and then we're going to hide them in the forest. Or actually not in the forest, but put them like over here. Hmm, this is not great. We want to hit from here. I'm kind of worried about units on the inside coming out. I'm going to hide them in the forest, and then just tell them to slowly move out later. We should have the time for that. We're going to kill this group first. Hello, reinforcements. Uh, we pulled our units too far. Can they move over? If not, uh, can we do that option ourselves? Ah, uh, we got some fire going. Not ideal, but... I will fight you. Don't actually want to fight these spear units. Let's move this way. Just move them in. Like, we might have a big exposed flank where these crossbow get chased down, but that, that might be the only problem we're worried about. Roar here. Just kill that. Hold on, hold on. We might have ourselves a, a fire situation. Alright, stop, stop, stop firing. Yeah, we kind of burned our troop down, but that was expected. They killed that. They killed this. Save our ammo. Let's go to town. Measure it up. Get over here. Oh, they have a few more. Uh, turn around and just burn them? Uh, I think we are burning ourselves a little bit, but, uh... can move to intercept. How about you guys just, just go? Worried about burning ourselves on fire? Probably gonna have to do something like this. Charge in here, roar on that. Run. We had Wisdom River. We could have uh, helped Ma Choi a little bit. We're kind of densely packed, but I'm sure, you know, the magic of engineering is going to figure out a way for them to fire without... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks perfect. And of course we hit. Oh, we hit the target. That's good. That's actually perfect. Now we're gonna hit over here. Yeah, fire damage over 50 percent. All of this is killed. Move over there. 
Oh, that whiffed. Settlement damage, we'll take it. Everybody go, go. Now we can speed this part up. Still missing. 33%. One more shot, please. That did it. Alright, so they burn down, and we can shift over here. I'm gonna target that. We got it. Switch ammo. I have to wait till it burns down so we can get a little bit closer, but essentially we want to be somewhere like here. Perfect. The trees are making it very difficult for the juggernauts to get themselves out of the forest. They're in range? Sort of? That's fine, they're not going to hit much. Alright, fire will time, that's enough gaps in the wall. Or not. I'm gonna send them to go kill them. Am I going to be able to use our Juggernauts? Yeah, guess they can make it in time. Oh. Talk about overchasing. Our cavalry. They can do whatever they want. It doesn't really matter. Oh, you guys should not do that. We have Juggernauts for that. You guys can kill those. Oh, get ready. He's coming back. How are they doing? Oh, they're perfect. Get them up. Alright. They're out of range units. It's going to be burn baby burn time. Who's next? Cannot turn. Uh. So 
a bit annoying because I can't really go here since this tower still covers that. And they're just kind of hiding on the wall here. This guy, if he can turn properly, can shoot them. Right? There's no vision here? He's gonna charge us though. That's what I'm worried about. Once we step in... Or not. Can we now shoot him? Second burn. That's it. Okay. Should be army loss after we kill these two. In case we need more ammo, send this guy in. Nice and charging, black smoke, and fire. Okay, run back. Ammo's gone. They're gonna die, and they're probably gonna rout soon. Run back. Get out of their way. A little dip. Wonder if we got vision. Yep, we do. Should be over. How are they still holding on? There we go. It's over. Now let's see if we can negotiate that peace deal with Yuan Shao and all his vassals. Oh, we would also need to push him out of Hulao Gate. Oh, did we? Yeah, we forgot about the points again. Right, so I think, especially if we use this army against this, uh, we would have to siege for a turn. That's the... It's a tough part. So maybe next turn. Like, they can't take this. There's walls. He has to siege. Then I can maybe take this myself. I don't know if I have enough movement for that, though. He could try to retake this. What we need to do is actually just spend a little bit of money and rush this to a small city, and he can't. And then basically we guarantee ourselves the land that we gained. Or we can choose not to peace out with him, just wipe him out. That's another option. It would just make incorporating the territory we picked up a little bit more difficult. But it would be the faster approach. We just sweep through. Machal keeps going north, pick up Yemen. We can just go through the central plains now, or the northern plains. Uh, and then take out all the farms, get rid of his capital, which apparently is not in way. Maybe he's in... Wuhai. Where is he? I guess he would be in Bohai then. Or it looks like Gong Sultan has that. Pingyuan. I don't know if he has this territory. That's not his capital. Maybe it's in Anping. Right. We don't have to stop. We can just take the entire north and then turn Gong Sultan both at the same time. So maybe piecing out is not the option. Right. We basically have a few scattered armies that's annoying us, which is kind of giving me the option of piecing out a little bit more attractive. 
but we'll see what happens. Uh, Cao Cao losing this over here is interesting. I wonder if he's going to turn around and fight them. I think he's fighting Liu Bei and, and Lu Bu on our behalf. Lu Bu's about to die. And he doesn't want to pay me anything anymore, so there's nothing to get there. But anyways, a pretty good place to stop. We'll make sure to use our intimidation points next time before we fight that rebel group. We'll shore up our uh, Shandang area so that it doesn't get taken out right away. And then we'll see how we resolve this issue. I mean... It's still important to us because it's giving us food. We'll have a lot of food soon, but not yet. So we'll see how that goes. And like I said, the new territory is not really well built. It's going to take quite a few turns to build them up. And uh, we might not have those turns if we keep pushing. But it's not a bad idea. So we'll see what happens and continue from here next time. Until then, bye!